Hey guys, this is Mimic, and welcome to the painting video. Well, it's not more painting, it's more, well, uh, actually, technically it is painting, but it is using a new program. This program is known as a sprite. I think that's how it's pronounced. A sprite? A sprite? Basically, it's spelled uh, A E S P I R T E, I think. No, no, it's A S E P R I T E. Anyway, this. Mm. Uh, this particular program is focused entirely on sprite animation. I gotta stop saying sprite animation. It's pixel art. Everything pixel art this program can do. Now, I can also do pixel art in Photoshop. However, there's a problem with Photoshop that I have that this program has in spades. A few things is the easy control of the color palette. Now, I can have it to as many kinds of colors and palettes, color shades as, as I want within the palette. Now what I mean is there's also an option within it that allows me to take two colors and mix colors in between them as many as I want. It could be like 1 to 50. Another thing that this thing has that Photoshop still doesn't have to this day is symmetry. This thing has a symmetry tool, which is crazy to think that this little program, which is a lot cheaper than Photoshop by the way, has the one tool that Photoshop should have by default, and yet it doesn't, even to this day. No matter how many upgrades this thing has, it never has it. Ugh. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So right now I wanted to draw something on this video, something interesting. So I decided to go on to the Twitter thing uh, to find this particular sprite challenge group. Some of you may have heard of it. It's called Pixel Dailies. This th place, so far from what I've heard of, it only is within Twitter, not anywhere else. It's not in any other location. For some strange reason, it's not there. I don't know why, I don't know how, but that's how it is. Yes, but that doesn't deter me. I'm, I planned on using it. I've used it for a couple of months now to help practice the whole for uh, the whole pixel art thing. So it's like they give you a word and you have to draw a picture associating with the word. And the two words that I found were sock and team rocket. As you can see, I've been drawing team rockets, uh, Pokemon Meowth, and I've also been drawing the a sock. Well, not a sock, but a monster sock. Because why try, you know, something simple like a sock when you can do it with something crazy like a monster sock? So other than that, that's here's basically what I've been doing with the program, how I've been handling it, and various other tools within it. For example, I found this interesting one called the shader, where you take a group of colors, you select them, and then for some strange reason, it allows you to shade or lighten the colors that are matching with the colors that you picked out. So if you picked like a mid-range color and then you, used, you picked a high and low range color, it can color according to that, depending on if you left click or right click. Which is very good for this type of, uh, you know, pixel art thing. Honestly, I can say I like this program. It's very good with what it does. It makes pixel art very, very well very well. However, that's all it pretty much does, is pixel art. Anything beyond that, it gets a little bit more difficult to say that's... Well, I like to say that it is better to have um, Photoshop and such for sketches and line art. It's definitely not for pixel art. For pixel art, I definitely say this program goes for it hands down. And I think that's it for now. I'll tune in next time and I'll talk about more in future. This is Mimic signing off. Enjoy my pictures.